Hey everybody, welcome again to yet another one of my math videos. Um, in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve basic inequalities. And not only am I going to teach you how to solve them, I'm also going to teach you how to graph them on the number line. And I'm also going to teach you how to express your answer in interval notation. And solving inequalities is much the same as solving a normal equation. This sign right here, the greater than or equal to sign, you can just imagine that as an equal sign and you can just solve this inequality just like a normal equation. And the one thing that you have to remember, and I wrote it for you in the green on the left hand side, is you need to flip the sign if you multiply or divide by a negative number. So you can solve these just like a normal equation and the only thing that you have to do differently is you need to flip the sign if you multiply or divide by a negative number. Uh, so let's just get started with this example. So here we have 5x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 8. And we want to solve this for x. We want to get x by itself. Um, so in order to get x by itself, I'm just going to add 4 to both sides. Uh, so notice how the 4s cancel out, and the only thing we're left with on the left-hand side is a 5x. And the sign stays the same, which is greater than or equal to. On the right-hand side, we have 3x, and a negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. Now we want to get x by itself, so we want to take this 3x on the right-hand side, and we want to combine it uh, with the 5x on the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 3x for both sides. So on the left-hand side, we have 5x and a negative 3x, which gives us a positive 2x. The sign stays the same, which is greater than or equal to. Our positive 3x and negative 3x cancel out. And the only thing we're left with on the right-hand side is negative 4. Now, in order to solve for x, we need to get x by itself. And notice how this 2 is still attached to the x. It's not quite by itself yet. Um, so since we're multiplying the x by the 2, in order to get rid of that 2, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So on the left-hand side, the 2's cancel out and we get x by itself. Since we divided by a positive number, we divided by a positive 2, the sign stays the same, so it stays greater than or equal to, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So this is our final answer. x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to solve the same exact inequality and I'm going to solve it a little differently, so we have to divide by a negative number, just so I can show you when we have to flip the sign. So here, once again, we have 5x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 8. Um, instead of bringing the x terms to the left-hand side, now I'm going to bring the x terms to the right-hand side. Um, so I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. On the left-hand side, the positive 5x and negative 5x cancel out and the only thing we're left with is a negative 4. The sign stays the same, greater than or equal to. A positive 3x and a negative 5x is a negative 2x. Then we have a minus 8. Once again, we want to get the x by itself. So we want to get rid of this negative 8 on the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Negative 4 plus 8 is a positive 4. The sign stays the same, which is greater than or equal to. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 2x, and the 8s cancel out. Now we need to get x by itself. Um, and since the negative 2 is multiplied by the x, to get rid of that negative 2, I'm going to divide by negative 2. Now positive 4 divided by negative 2 gives us a negative 2. Since we divided by a negative number, since we divided by negative 2, the sign is going to flip. So it was a greater than or equal to, now it's going to be less than or equal to. And on the right hand side, the negative 2's cancel out, and we are going to be left with x. So here we have our final answer, negative 2 is less than or equal to x. But it's pretty standard to write your final answer with the x on the left hand side. Uh, so this can also be written as x is greater than or equal to negative 2.
which is once again the same answer as we got the first time we solved this problem. So many times your textbooks also ask you to graph the inequality as well. Um, so now I'm going to teach you how to graph x is greater than or equal to negative 2. And the first thing I like to do is I just like to put the number that we just solved for on the number line. So since we have a negative 2, I like to put the negative 2 in the number line. Then I like to draw a circle. And since there's an equal sign underneath the greater than, we need to fill in the circle and color it in and make it a closed circle. Now since x is greater than or equal to negative 2, you want to color in all the numbers that are greater than or to the right of negative 2. So I'm going to color in all the numbers to the right of negative 2 all the way to positive infinity. Now sometimes your textbook asks you to express your answer in interval notation. And in order to put your answer in interval notation, you always put the smaller number of your answer on the left. Since the smaller number is negative 2, we're going to put a negative 2. And since the number can actually equal negative 2, since negative 2 is included, there's a closed circle, you're going to put a bracket. Then you put a comma, and on the right-hand side, you put the larger number, which since the, it goes all the way to infinity, we put infinity on the right-hand side. And since a number can never really equal infinity, you put a parenthesis. So now we have graphed the inequality and also expressed it in interval notation. So I hope this video helped you understand solving inequalities just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like my style of teaching and you want to see some more of my videos, uh, please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, whatever you like better. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching my video and take care.